John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text And the servant brought forth jewels of silver, and jewels of gold, and raiment, and gave them to Rebekah he gave also to her brother and to her mother precious things. Genesis 24:53. Commentary And the servant brought forth jewels of silver, and jewels of gold, ornaments for women, which he had brought along with him for presents, and which were a proof of the riches of his master, and of his generosity and liberality, who had furnished him with such a profusion of rich things to bestow on the person that should be got for his son's wife, and raiment, and gave them to Rebekah. Costly suits of clothes such as in those times were given to persons at their marriage, or in order to it, and which custom still continues among the Arabs, who, as Dr. Shaw says, have the marriage contract previously made between the parents, wherein is express mention made not only of the sadduk, as they call that particular sum which the bridegroom settles on the bride, but of the several changes of raiment, and the quantity of jewels, and the number of slaves that the bride is to be attended with when she first waits upon her husband, a gold and silver sarmah, he says, which is a thin flexible plate of gold or silver, of a triangular shape, artfully cut through and engraven in imitation of lace, one or two sets of earrings bracelets and shekels, a gold chain to hang over their breasts, with half a dozen vests, some of brocades, others of rich silk, were usually the wedding clothes of a lady of fashion. And so in Barbary, the man buys his bride a suit of apparel, earrings, bracelets, a chest, etc., and gives the father a considerable sum of money, according to the qualities and circumstances of the parties. And he gave also to her brother, and to her mother, precious things. Things of worth and value, which were part of the good things he brought with him from Abraham, Genesis 24:10. the word being sometimes used for fruit. Jarki interprets it of various kinds of the fruits of the land of Israel, but it is not likely that these should be carried by him on so long a journey, much better Aben Ezra understands by them honorable and costly raiment, and it is observed by some, that the word in general signifies everything valuable and excellent, as gold, silver, etc. No mention being made of her father, only of her brother Laban, and of her mother, seems to confirm the notion of Josephus that he was dead or however he concerned himself no further in this affair than to give his consent to the marriage, and left everything else to his wife and son to take care of, and therefore the presents are only made to them.